guys, it's Kathy and welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to do an unboxing and sharing of Sunlight's brand new science curriculum. So stay tuned. All right, welcome and welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Kathy. I'm a homeschool mama of two little girls and I love sharing all things homeschool, motherhood, and some fun DIYs sprinkled all up in there. So if you like this kind of content, then please like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos. I am really excited about this. Um, this curriculum, I'm gonna be honest, last year we did science, but it was like, we did some science, but it, it, it wasn't fun. Right. So this year I was really looking for something that was going to be fun and hands on and literature based. And so I stumbled across Sunlight's brand new science curriculum. So we decided to go with Sunlight's uh, level K for science. This covers I'm going to read it so I don't miss anything. Ecosystems, meteorology, physics and engineering design. It is also designed for ages uh, five to six between the grades of K through first grade. So we all know this school year, I have a kindergartner and a third grader, but this is kind of like a middle ground. And I kind of really liked the things that were being covered. So I'm just gonna start with K and then work my way through the um, curriculums as we go on. First, let me go ahead and show you the books and the literature that comes within this science curriculum. First, we have a book, Rainforest. We have Bees and Wasps. We have ants, weather, reptiles. Um, we also have the DK Find Out Science book here. And um, I love DK books, but they're just really cool. It just kind of talks about different things in there. Gravity, sound, um, electrical circuits, all kind of fun things in there. We also have a couple of other books that we'll be reading. It's called Why Do Elephants Need the Sun? Forces Make Things Move. Now, I love these books. I actually have quite a few of these for our math. They have like, they cover everything, but I love this style of book. The girls love this style of book as far as reading and learning things just through a story. These books are great. Uh, From Seed to Plant. And then of course, good old Magic School Bus. And this is the Inside a Hurricane. We have Wangari's Tree of Peace. And then we also have the Discover and Do Science Experiment book. So this is the experiment books that goes along um, with this curriculum. And it literally walks you through the experiments that you're going to be using for um, each lesson. Now, this is actually one of the reasons why we went ahead and went with this curriculum, because I want to do hands on. I want to do experiments and I am not a science person, so I don't naturally know how to do these things. So we got this to help. So those are the books, um, our spine books and our literature books that we'll be using for this. So here is the course guide. Um, I went ahead and I did not do the large sunlight binder. I go ahead and I bind them myself. So I just laminated the front and did a binding right here. Um, and what I did, so this is just the teacher's guide. This is only the teacher guide with the questions in there. And what I did, I took out the um, worksheets. So I made separate worksheets for the girls. So like their worksheet pages that they're going to do, I actually took those out so that they are not included in our binder. Now, if you do the large binder, then of course you can just pop it open and take that page out during the day, but I don't do that. Um, so I, they uh, each have their own little um, workbooks. And then we have the science kit. So here is the Discover and Do Science Kit, guys. Pretty much everything that you need for that experiment is in this box. There are some things that you may have around your house that's not included in here. Um, and then you will be able to like, you know, add those in with that. But this is all covered. This kit here has everything that you would need, guys. Even down to like, I saw like a packet of yeast in here. Let's go ahead and take a look inside of this kit. I'm not going to lie. This kit was an utter mess. Um, I tried to put it together, straighten it up a little bit, but you know whatever but it's like all over the place but here's everything that comes inside 
First, we have our cheese balls. Um, we have a rod type water meter. We've got, a, let's see, different cups. You have a styrofoam cup and some plastic cups. We have some cotton balls, uh, more cotton balls. Let's see, balloons. I think there's another balloon in here. Or there's several balloons. More cotton balls, <laughs> balloons. We have a bunch of these peanuts. More peanuts. And then these little, um, I guess these are planters. I'm not sure what these are, but you know, these are like those little cardboard things that you kind of can like plant things in. We have some of those. We got more cotton balls, more peanuts. We'll definitely get this organized. Um, we have a cork. There's a cork. Let's see. Another balloon. Pink. Here's a pink. This is a ping pong ball. And then this is actually like a rubber ball. And this looks like modeling clay. Feels like modeling clay. Bag of sand. More modeling clay. Uh, let's see. A little bag of beans. This looks like sawdust. I don't know. Um, some little foam thingies, not quite sure what those are for, but foam things. Let's see, we've got, oh, some glitter, a red ribbon. I don't know what this is, something green. It's like a powder, so some type of green powder. Thing of yeast. I'm not sure if this is just like a space saver or if this goes with it, but we're holding on to it. It's just like a sheet of, um, paper of like paper bag paper this looks like a stick of honey got some masking tape uh, this looks like some sugar cubes and toothpicks and uh, paper clips and little binder clips all in there we have another big binder clip there are several popsicle sticks as well as um, a clothespin. This is maybe mulch, I don't know, what is it? Oh, it's soil, it's a different type of soil. Uh, we have, let's just go through all these. There's a dropper. It's thundering really loud outside. We have some uh, like skewers, some straws. And then this straw actually already has like paper clips connected to it. We have uh, pipe cleaners. And then here's like another, just a clear straw. We have the tube. Another kind of black tube thing. Uh, let's see, more pipe cleaner. Uh, we have a tile. PVC pipe, and let's see, what is this? Uh, oh, this is a paper packet. I'm not sure exactly what this, it says kindergarten science experiments paper packet. Let's open it up and see what it is. So these are some cardstock papers that go along with um, the activities. So there's different, different papers that you're going to need for your experiments. And I did reach out to Sunlight before I purchased this to find out if two kits can work out of this one kit, and they can, so as long as they are willing to share and work together, two kits can definitely work out of one kit. We have some um, bubble wrap, sun sensitive paper store in a cool, dry, dark place. So sun sensitive paper, we'll keep that down. I think a felt. Uh, this is just like some cardstock sheets, sheet of aluminum foil. You've got a couple of sheets of stickers. There's actually what's inside <laughs> the contents list. And we've got, uh, some black construction paper, a couple of sheets of that. And then we have a mesh screen.
All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this flip through, this look inside, unboxing, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm excited. I really am excited. Um, guys, if you are doing science, what do you do? Like, what are you using for your science curriculum? Because I'm curious, this is our first year using Sunlight Science, and uh, we're going to see how it goes. I am hoping that it will fit really well with us. You know, from looking through things, it looks like it's going to fit. I think the girls are going to really enjoy this hands-on experiments because they love doing experiments, um, even if it's just them playing with water in the sink by themselves. Like, they just love, you know, hands-on things. So I'm excited for them to give this a try. Guys, don't forget to hang out with me and the family on the daily. You can follow us on our Instagram page, which is Feast Scott. And um, if you like this video, you like this kind of content, then please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos. And I'll talk with you guys in a couple of days. Bye.